Hi, I'm Emma. I'm here with Love Crafts and the lovely sleep wellness brand Eve Sleep to show you some ways to upcycle your old pillows. Let's get started. To make a lion cushion, you will need a sewing machine, an old pan, turmeric, white vinegar, rubber bands, old tongs or a spoon, a jersey pillowcase, black yarn and an embroidery needle, a size plate and pen, and an old pillow. We're going to tidy our pillow, so to prepare it, I'm going to pull up the middle of the case and I'm going to wrap a rubber band around it. I'm then going to wrap rubber bands all along the length of it at random intervals. I'm using four, but you can use as many or as few as you like. And what the rubber bands will do is stop the dye from getting into the fabric. I've then got four litres of water coming to the boil in an old pan and I'm adding three teaspoons of white vinegar. An old pan is a good idea because the turmeric can really stain. Now the pillowcase needs to be wet to help it take the dye so I'm going to put it in the pan now and then I'm adding three tablespoons of turmeric. Turmeric is an amazing natural dye and just gives the most phenomenal bold yellow colour. Now I'm just giving it a good stir and I'm going to leave it to simmer for at least an hour. After an hour, rinse it under cold water. It will be warm to touch so be careful in the beginning. And you need to remove the rubber bands at this point as well because what you'll see is there are grains and granules that get caught in the material and you want those all gone. So keep going until the water runs clear and when that's happened you just need to hang it up to dry and when it's dry give it a bit of an iron. I'm now going to use the plate as a template to create a lion's face design. I'm just using a regular ballpoint pen to sort of sketch quite a simple design onto my material. And I'm going to use the ring from the outer tie-dye circle as the edge of my mane. To stitch the design, we're going to do a chain stitch. So thread your embroidery needle, insert the needle from the back to the front of the material, make a loop, and then insert your needle back in where you just came out. Make sure it comes out about a centimetre ahead and then pull it into a loop. And that's literally it to make a chain stitch. And now we're just going to repeat this all the way around our design. Now, to make the filling, we're going to cut the case of a hollow fibre pillow. It needs to be hollow fibre for this one because that's what's going to make our lovely filling. And we're just going to then pull it out of that case. You can see this is a really old, quite knackered pillow, which is perfect. And then this is the fun part. All we're going to do is just start tearing it to pieces with our hands. We're then going to stuff the pillowcase and we just want to fill it up behind our design because this is going to be a nice circular cushion. So squeeze it in and get it into the middle and then we're going to take some pins and we're going to pin that stuffing in place. The pins will stop it from spreading out too much and it means we can then just sew with our sewing machine around the edge of our mane. Now take a pair of scissors, ideally pinking shears, but it's not the end of the world if you don't have them. That just helps to stop it from fraying. And cut around the edge of where we've sewn, leaving about a centimetres gap. And that is how to make a turmeric tie-dye lion face cushion. <laughs>